guys welcome back to the channel Melibu TV so guys today we are talking about the pros and cons of travel nursing and you already know whatever you do in life there's always pros to it and there's always cons but does the con outweigh the pros or does the pro outweigh the cons so for me definitely pros outweighs the cons and the biggest number one pros for me is money. Guys, you cannot top the money. Travel nursing, that's where you're going to make all your money. That's where you're going to make the bag. That's where you're going to get the coin. So for me, number one is coins, money. Number two, pros. So you're definitely going to get to visit a lot of places that you want to visit states or even countries like you'll never know so exploration hmm, so that's two three meeting new people you get to meet so many new people guys when you go to these places a lot of great friends that become life friends or even life partners you have a lot of travel nurses that can attest to this that they have met their life partner while on a travel assignment. And guys, I've met a couple nurses who actually became staff at the hospital because they met their spouse at the hospital. So they decided, this is where I'm gonna reside because this is where my spouse is. So you can meet your soulmate, you can meet your lifelong partner while travel nursing. Three, guys. You get to take vacation when you want. Do I work holidays? Do I not? Do I take a month off? Do I not? Do I take three months off? Do I not? So yes, you basically have control over your own life, your own schedule. You're like, let me work a 13 week contract and I take the next two months off before I decide if I'm gonna take another eight week, six week, four week contract. So yes, you could get to plan your vacation. You could get to plan a whole year in advance because you're the one that run your show. So there is no need to ask anybody for vacation. You ask your own self. Am I going to work the year without taking any vacation? You know how good that is, guys. That's like being your own boss. Facts on that, okay? So, yes. Period. That's like being your own boss as a travel nurse. So, four. What is my fourth pros? So, my fourth pros is... tan tan na tan tan na na when you're at an assignment, you decide, do I hate it that much? Am I not feeling this day? Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm over this. So yes, you get to decide. Say you start an assignment, it's 13 weeks. I don't advise anybody to do this, but guys, your loyalty lies only to yourself you're only loyal to yourself because guess what these agencies these recruiters they're loyal to themselves so if you get to an assignment you hate it people are horrible you feel unsafe practicing especially that you feel very unsafe with your license your license is at risk you're like guess what what does this mean deuces bye i'm out peace out yeah, you could cancel your contract and be like, I don't feel safe. My license doesn't feel safe. I can't work here. Move on to the next. You find the next contract. So it's up to you guys. Or if you want to tough it all for that eight weeks, if you want to tough it all for that 13 weeks, but at least you know, you are the one that is deciding to stick out those 13 weeks or to skip out that eight weeks. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I have to. It's a choice that you make. So, how can it not be a pro? Number six, you don't have to pay a lot of taxes. What do I mean by this? Guys, remember as a travel nurse, 
you get a part of your pay is non-tax. That means you're not paying tax on all your money. And check out my stipend video so you can see what I'm talking about. So yes, that's a big plus for a travel nurse, getting that non-taxed money, getting that stipend money. Check out my video. And guys, the biggest pros of all, number seven, that wraps up everything, you could get to accomplish your dream much shorter time, in a much shorter time, because you're working way more money, and with money comes your accomplishment. Whether you're trying to go to school, whether you're trying to buy a house, whether you're trying to buy a car, whether you're trying to send your kids to school, to college, to pay off that student loan, to pay off that car note, you could do it way faster being a travel nurse. Why? Because you earn way more money, guys. And you know, I'm all about that dough. I'm all about that bag. I'm all about that money. I'm all about that bag. But yes, guys, that is the big overall picture with being a travel nurse. The big overall pro is... You make that money so you could start traveling, live some life, take some luxurious vacation. Yes, for sure. Biggest, biggest overall pro. Number one con is, guys, so you get your contract, you have packed all your stuff, you have prepared you have made housing plans, you have paid for housing, and what worst case scenario, while on your way to the assignment, recruiter calls you, oh, you're canceled, contract is canceled. Just like that. No three day notice, contract is canceled, you're back at square one, probably you have lost some money, and that is the reason why, just a little advice right here is whenever you're going on your travel assignment, try to always book an Airbnb or Furnish Finder where you could get your refund back. If there's a clause in your housing contract that says that you will not be refunded for your deposit or whatever money you have paid down, do not go with a housing do not go with the housing, guys. No matter how, you could never be sure of a contract. A contract can be canceled for any reason that we will never know. But you can get canceled. So choose a hotel where you can get your refund. So that's always a good advice. Always choose a hotel or make sure to choose housing that you could get back your refund. Don't go non-refundable because anything can happen and a canceled contract can definitely happen without notice, without no apology. So now you have to start from square one to try to find a different contract and hopefully you get it within that same city or hopefully you even get a contract within a timely fashion. So number two is... People who have their families, husband, wife, kids, definitely being away from your kids, being away from your family, definitely will cause some type of loneliness. You're definitely going to miss your family. So yes, for people who has a family, I know it is definitely hard sometimes. So when you have goals, just make your plans. Whether you're going to go home every month, three days, if your contract is 36 hours, 48 hours, and you're two hours away from home, you could go visit your family every two weeks or even every week if you choose to. It's up to you. But at the end of the day, guys, whenever you have goals and you got to make a little bit of sacrifice. So if not seeing your family every day, definitely it is a big deal. Okay, so not seeing your family every day is super hard, but whether you have like a goal to say, I'm going to be a travel nurse for a year, for six months, 
or either I'm going to work a 13 week contract, then be home for 13 weeks and then leave again for another 13 weeks or even take your family. That's always an option. So number three is uh, guys doing all these modules. So onboarding, the onboarding process, especially when you change your agency and you know, like me, I change my agency because I go where the money, wherever the money resides, that's where I am. So if one agency is offering me more money, guys, I'm loyal to no agency. I'm gone. I'm out. So yes, onboarding. Oh my gosh. So much modules, so much paperwork all over again, but advice to help with that. Make sure all your paperwork, all your lab work, all of those things when you are sent by one agent to get all those lab works, just put them in one file on your computer. So when you're onboarding with another agency, everything is at your fingertip. So you could just easily send them over with no problems. But guys, those modules, those facility modules that you have to do, plus those agency modules, oh my gosh, pain frustrating, too much. You guys need to cut it out. So number four cons is finding housing for your assignment. Guys, housing. Sometimes, well, depends on the state that you're going to and the city. <laughs> housing, super hard to find. So sometimes you got to do the do. I have my video. Sometimes you gotta live in that car for a little bit until you find somewhere. So housing is sometimes super hard to find. Hotels are super expensive. So that can be a pain in the butt. And also guys, on these housing website, Furnish Finders, Airbnbs, you know scams are crazy. So it's advisable make sure you know who you're talking to at the end of the line because the scammers are here the scammers are for real so don't be sending cash up in your money to anybody not knowing not seeing so if you have a friend that is already at the facility let that friend go check out that house for you and if you could wait until you get there to go see the house that's even better than paying for something sometimes when you get there it's not even looking like what you saw online so there's so much risk in paying for a house and not seeing it so housing is uh, super tough when you have an assignment especially when you get the last minute assignment probably a two to three week start so big suggestion start at a hotel first Find the cheapest hotel that you could find or check out my video right here. Link is in the description right here. Check out my video. You could always use that option as a starter. And when you get there and you can, you can go view housing seat for yourself, then you could make proper choice to get housing. Number five cons is when you get to each facility, you got to learn their policy, their protocol, where everything is. Where is the med room? Where do I find a bathroom? You know, so those are, it's not a big deal for me, but yes, like going to all these facilities every 13 weeks, especially if you don't extend at a facility so you're there for more than 13 weeks you're kind of like starting over the process every 13 weeks finding out where the bathroom is how they do things what the policies are where do i get an iv stand you know just asking the same questions because you're just trying to get used to your environment and then by the time you have gotten used to your environment it's time to go it's time to move on and then you start the whole process over and over again. So yes, that's number five. Number six con 
is that you may probably have some anxiety finding the next gig. Say for example, your assignment is coming to an end, then you're trying to find another assignment that you want that is suitable for you because you could always find an assignment. You could always find a cheap paying assignment that you don't really want. But yes, trying to find an assignment that is suitable for you, that you want, that can cause you a little bit of anxiety. So yes, definitely a con. So yeah, sometimes it's hard to get onto assignment. Sometimes it's hard to find an assignment that you want. So don't wait until your 13 week assignment is up to start looking. Start looking five weeks in advance. It's okay to always look five weeks in advance. That's a good time to find a good assignment. So your increased anxiety can be decreased or zero, none at all. We ain't for the anxiety around here. Guys, as I said at the start of the video, there is always pros and cons in life. Anything that you do, there's always gonna be pros and there's always gonna be cons. But what outweighs what? For me, pros outweighs the cons. But what is it for you? Also, leave in the comment section, what are some pros that you have encountered? What are some cons that you have encountered? And in everything, we try to find solutions to problems. So with those cons, we go find a solution. So suggest in the comment section any suggestions to the, any solutions to those problems and we could solve them together. So guys, we are at the end of another very informative video. So like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you could be the first to be notified whenever I post, comment, like, share. Bye.